So a great question came in on how to set up pre-market stop loss and take profit orders, just like using a bracket order here. And I'm going to show you in this video how to set these kind of trades up in the pre-market without using a bracket order. Let's start first by clicking on Meta. And our position here is 100 shares. We're up 4,200 bucks with an average price of 292 and a last trading price of 335. Starting first with the stop loss to protect our profit, we would right click here, click on close or sell in this case. And now here's where it gets interesting. We have to click on here and you can either do limit price or in this case for the stop loss, we're gonna go stop limit. And this is my personal preference here. I wanna stop this thing out and I wanna give back, let's say a thousand dollars maximum of this profit here for a 4,200. So I'm gonna go 335 minus 10 roughly and I put that right there at 325 for my stop area. And I'm gonna have my limit order just a hair above that at 326. So that if my limit gets hit first, it's gonna to try to put a limit order in at 326 to cash me out. If it doesn't, it keeps dropping through that to 325, my stop order will kick in and get me out of the trade in most scenarios. The caveat here is that this is not 100% guaranteed. Just like you're trading in normal market hours, these kind of trades don't automatically always stop you. If there's a large movement in the market very quickly, you might get blown up and go past these amounts. And in that case, you would then have to just hold the stock and hope for recovery or sell and keep less profit. But to get this going in the pre-market, click on this little button here, go good till canceled. And then we just click down here and go either fill trigger outside RTH, which is regular trading hours, or allow pre-open. And the difference between the two of these, the first one being it'll let you trade in the post-market from 4 to 8 p.m. and the pre-market from 4 to 9.30 a.m. Allow pre-open, which is what we're going to choose here, is just going to give you the pre-market for the next trading day if you're going day. If you're going good till canceled, it will go subsequent trading days until it gets filled. But this means that you're only going to be able to execute this trade in the pre-market between that 4 and 9 a.m. slot, assuming the stock you are trading is actually available for trading in that time frame. You would then go ahead and just click submit. That order would go in. Over at and transmit, and that is now in there for your downside protection on your stop limit order. So now to put in our take profit order, we want to click on meta again. We want to click on sell. We want to go limit order now this time. And now instead of having the limit price below where the price of the stock is, now we want to give this some room to run higher and say, hey, maybe meta is going to go up to 345 in this case. So we put our limit order at 345 which would lock us in another $1,000 of profit roughly, which would be awesome. We would go here and go good till canceled again. And again, the same principles apply. Allow pre-open is what we want to click on. And that fill outside RTH is just morning or evening trading. And then there's actually an overnight trading option as well for stocks or different products that are traded around the clock. We want pre-open. We want the pre-market right there for this. Click that on. Click on submit to put this order in. And you can see on the chart here, we now have a sell stop limit for our stop loss at 325 down here, a 345 sell limit for our take profit on the top end. And we have our position protected with these different order types in the pre-market. Don't forget, and I've mentioned this once before in this video, that this does not guarantee you will be out of the trade, especially when there is less volume in the pre-market trading sessions. Understand what has to happen for this to get filled. It has to drop and hit this area on the bottom or the top, and then it's going to try to execute and fill. But if there's no other trading or dancing partner to get this trade filled, it just won't fill if the volume's not there. So volume is critical. Understanding that that's low in the pre-market area is another thing. But this is how you would set up a stop loss and a take profit for pre-market trading with interactive brokers. And if you got some value out of this video here today, this walkthrough, it would mean a lot to me if you could subscribe to the channel, keep learning along. I love putting out videos like this, walking you guys through interactive brokers, stock options, stock trading, all this fun stuff. Keep tuning in, keep checking in. And I will see you on the next video.